In this tutorial, we will learn how to analyze the results in Trisco. First, this video focuses on the graphic output results. Thereafter, text output results will be discussed where you learn how to add derived thermal properties such as the equivalent thermal transmittance and the linear thermal transmittance. We continue from the project file created in the previous tutorial, that is grids and blocks. We will update the dimensions of the grid to a more realistic value. At X domain, we change the first grid to 49.5 and third grid to 49.5. In Y domain, change the second grid to 5 cm for the concrete board, the third grid to 15 cm for insulation and the fourth grid to 5 cm for the concrete board again. We increase Z height to 100 cm. We now split the grid to create more refined mesh. At Grids menu choose Auto Split. For smaller meshes up to 5 cm, we input split distance as 1 cm. For larger meshed, split ratio would be 1.5. Once you have your grid split ready for analysis, we click on Calculate System to run the analysis. At the image window, we see the temperature gradient across the cross section. You can also view other information. By clicking on Show BC, you can visualize boundary conditions. The color displayed at these boundary conditions is coherent with input at the color window and the remaining yellow surfaces are adiabatic. Lastly, you can also visualize the geometry as transparent layers or with its material properties. We choose back the preview as show temperature. As we hover the cursor over the geometry, we see the surface temperature at that point displayed on the left bottom of the Trisco application. You can set the view angle to either orthogonal projections such as X min, X max, Y min, Y max, Z min, Z max, or to perspective view. You can also click on graphic output on the top toolbar to better visualize the result. Click on isothermal lines to view temperature gradient contours. You can change these contours by clicking on the temperature range at the top toolbar. At this window, you can change the temperature if you unselect use from boundary conditions and input manually. The first increment defines the spacing interval of temperature isotherms, say 0.5. The second increment is the red line, say we input as 2. Single value is the temperature isotherm you wish to explore for a particular value of temperature, say 10. We now see the temperature isotherms for an interval of 0.5 in light red and every 2 degrees in dark red. But we can't distinctly visualize a single value isotherm at 10 degrees because this overlaps with other isotherm lines. We can change the line weights or color of this line to be highlighted. Click on Line Styles, here you can customize the line output. We change the color of the single value isotherm by double clicking the color box and choosing another color say pink. We can increase the line width, say 3. As you click OK, you can now notice the single temperature isotherm. You can click on fill off to only see the isotherm lines without temperature gradient. We can now close the graphic output window. Similarly, if you click on the temperature range in the image window, you can set the interval of the first increment to a lower value to visualize more refined color steps in the temperature gradient. Now at the Edit menu choose Clip Colors. Here you can turn off a few intermediate layers while visualizing. For example, we turn off the insulation, by double-clicking on the Show column. Now you can have a closer understanding of heat transfer through the layer stratigraphy such as a metal plate. You can also directly clip color by clicking on the Clip Color icon and directly clicking at the image window for the color you want to turn off the view. Now, turn on the insulation color. At the edit menu, choose clip object. Using this we can cut a section and visualize it in inner stratigraphy. We have maximum 19 grid meshes on X axis, and 19 grid meshes in Y axis. Suppose we wanted to clip till 11th mesh in X axis. We enter X max as 11 and we visualize the cropped cross section. Clip colors and clip objects are extremely useful when the geometry gets complex and you wanted to understand the behavior of an intermediate layer. We shall continue to learn further settings to analyze results in Trisco at the next video. Now if you click on text output, 
Trisco will display information about all the input data and results of the analysis. Click on Input Data to see the grid used for analysis, along with blocks and its assigned color properties. At the bottom, you can also see calculation parameters. Next, at the results window, you can see the minimum and maximum temperatures for each material assigned by colors. Below, we can also read the heat transfer through the colors corresponding to boundary conditions. You can add decimal precision by clicking on settings and choosing decimals. Here we can input the decimal precision. Say we change it to three decimals. Upon clicking OK, we can see that data is updated with a maximum of three decimal values. Since we haven't yet added any input to derived parameters, our output results are limited. We will add some derived parameters and explore the results in the next video. We now can close the text output. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.